my channel it's your girl kimmy bella back with another video and judging by the title y'all already know that i'm about to talk about my nipple piercings and how they're going because a lot of y'all actually wanted me to do an update from a long time but my whole thing about it was i wanted to be i wanted to touch every little nook and cranny so i was like i gotta wait out i can't just give it some off the back like that you know can't do that but i have like i have like i wish i could see my desk right now i have mad index cards in front of me because i was like i have to make sure i touch every little thing we're going to jump right into the video but before you watch this number one why are you watching this if you haven't watched the um my reaction like you should tune into that first and then come to this and see how it's going because i was i was so terrible for getting these nipple piercings like that was terrible like i'm not even going to talk too much about that you should go watch that video and then come back to this one but for the people that have watched that people and want to see this one welcome let's jump right into it like what's up gang like let's let's just jump right into it. warning viewer discretion is advised this video contains content that is extremely tmi but it's i i gotta keep it real with y'all you all right number one the pain that i went through for this piercing I don't know how to explain it like when the needle first went through I felt like I was about to die like I was like about to die type shit like but it's like right after like once it pierces through it's just like okay like some people like even orgasm after like I heard of that like not orgasm moan like and I understand that because when it went through like I screamed but after I'm like, yo, I feel so turned on right now. Like, I, that's my TMI, but like, it's the truth. Like, after it just felt like, it just felt like I was just so aroused. I don't know what it was, but I just felt mad aroused right after that whole screaming I saw me do and carry on with. Right after I was just so aroused for like no reason. But that was that. So let's talk about the healing process. The first days after me getting my piercing was it was so weird like i was very sensitive and i was turned on easily it felt like someone was constantly doing this to my nipples like that's what it feels like someone's just caressing your nipples 24 7. so i felt turned on a lot like it was very sensitive too like i thought i was gonna lose feeling and that's what made me kind of like mm, do i really want this piercing but when you get it it's like baby sensitivity is like all the way up so that's a, like that's a plus for me because I like breast foreplay so I was very excited for that so after that let's see okay so after he pierced me he was like okay you can't no spit on them for a week like no licking no nothing all right I would have random itchiness like after all right the first three days and the first week that was very sore but after that there were some other weird side effects like I would have random itchiness and random soreness and like, it was weird. Like sometimes I would be at work and I'm just doing this. Just massaging my become like, yo, they're sore right now. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I guess you're just gonna have to watch me fondle my titties because they hurt right now. And that's what made them like less sore for some reason. And that's what my tattoo guy told me to tattoo, hear me next, next video. But <laughs> that's what my piercing guy told me. He was like, just fondle your boobs sometime when they get like sore, like it'll help. So that's what I did and that would help. So, but crustiness, like I, I barely got really crusty. It's like sometimes I would get crusty, but it wouldn't be like how other people described it as being crusty. Like I would more so get, um, like a little sliminess. Like it wasn't like, I wouldn't describe it as pus. It was more like maybe I guess it was a crustiness that got very wet or something. That's what it was. It was more like a slimy, like. I'm gonna say wet tissue and for my nursing students it was wet tissue that's what i'm gonna just say i'm gonna just say it was like a little wet tissue to tell you the truth but that's another thing um i wore my bras and i wore my sub and i wore like sports bras like i don't know how to explain it like if you wear a bra that's too padded it feels uncomfortable but if you wear a bra that's just like it's like you want the support because you want something to feel like it's fondling your boobs but you don't want too much support where it's just mad pressure. Like, 
so i was not really wearing bras like that i was more so wearing maybe like a sports bra or something like that just to feel that holding sensation but not all the padding and stuff because it just didn't feel comfortable to tell you the truth like i didn't really like that so that's the healing process like random itchiness soreness sensitivity but it's great because you get turned on really easily but not that much crustiness for me but to each his own and a little bit of slanginess but that's that okay let's talk about how i clean these okay so i finished my other bottle but i'm gonna enter a little picture but when i would go in the shower i would just simply put a little soap on my hands the soap that i'm gonna insert that you saw right there i would put it on my hands when i'm in the shower and i would just literally do this for 30 seconds and just wash it off simple as that and i would do that every time i went in the shower like and um yeah sometimes like if i wake up and i don't do a morning shower i'm gonna do a night shower of the day i would get this this little saline wound wash and i would literally get two q-tips and i would just one two both of them and each of these would be for each little bell like so one and then i would flip it and I'm like you, you get the gist you get it and I would just clean off, clean off any like maybe crustiness or sliminess, just a little, a little thorough clean and stuff. That's what I would do. And that would be if I didn't take a shower like that, like morning. Mostly I use for the morning time. But if I got in the shower like morning and night that day, which I was doing a lot because I did not want that smell that everyone was talking about, I was using the um the wash. I can't remember the name, but I'm into the picture. But I finished it. But I was using that um what else but that's the cleaning part that's how i clean like it's very simple some i did probably the salt soap that everyone was talking about probably one time because i didn't like i just it just i didn't i don't know like i didn't find the salt i didn't feel like doing it i just didn't do it i was just doing that it was it was what was convenient to me i was comfortable with doing it and i just did it so Let's talk about the confidence boost that having a nipple piercing gives you. Because I could, after that whole little soreness phase faded, I couldn't stop taking pictures and I couldn't stop sending pictures. <laughs> like, it sounds terrible, but I couldn't. Like, I mean, I'm like, look at it. Like, like it looks cute, right? Like, I know, yeah. Like, I know, right? And another thing is, like, I have big breasts. Like, I'm a triple D. So at first, I'm like, what the fuck I look like? But sometimes you know how big breasts tend to sag like because i've always worn a bra like ever since ever since i started growing titties like i've always been in a bra like, i even sleep in a bra to the honest to god truth let's talk about like during sex so at first like i was scared i, I didn't want to do no riding i didn't want to do no back i didn't want to do none of that i wanted to lay on my back and hold my titties that's what i wanted to do I'm not even gonna lie, because I was just scared of something snagging. Like, that's the whole thing for me. Like, I was just scared of something snagging because those first three days, like, it was just sore as fuck. Like, it was just sore. But after a week passed by, I was feeling real confident and sexy. Like, I'm telling you, I got intuitive to this. Like, I was just feeling sexy. But ever since I got these, like, nipple piercings, like, I've been feeling sexier than a motherfucker because even during sex, like, I'm like, ooh, like, TMI, but. I'm like, you know, I like the fact that my piercings match the belly button. I'm like, ooh, I'm looking like, you know, I'm looking like, ooh. Like, so it gives you a huge confidence boost. So if you're looking for a confidence boost with these piercings, you should definitely tune the fuck in because confidence goes sky high. But that's that. Like, it was just, like, y'all just gotta get it. Like, it's just, I love it. That's one of my favorite things. And just to bust some myths for y'all, like, some people say that when you, like, when you get them, they either lose your sensitivity or they get really sensitive that is very true you can either lose it or gain it and i gained it thank god because i like i said i like breast foreplay and some people say that it'll smell like airing back and that depends on how active you are because some days i have to shower in the morning and night because depending like if i went to the gym or something like that like it depends on how active you are how much you sweat so if you know you're active just up up the showers and that's really just it like just up your showers like that's it don't be like oh my god just up your showers and you're good swear but let's just wrap it up now so do i have regret about it not at all like the pros are like you feel confidence you're sexy like breast foreplay is amazing and the cons are like you're just sore at first 
you get the little crusties and up your showers that's it and that's not even a condom you should be you should be showering um daily anyways twice a day anyways because you sweat in your sleep and you outside all day so you need to be showering morning and night anyway but that's the most like probably like up your showers and shit like that but i have no regrets for this piercing at all like i love it but thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment enjoy and subscribe and thank you